everyone what about here and welcome back to some more inscriptions so we've got stuff i got a second warren and i've got a second alpha but do i want the alpha or do i want the porcupine i'm gonna go for the porcupine a second alpha is not a bad idea so i'm using a different starting deck which is probably a mistake here and i have no idea how this is gonna go for me i can only have one item in my hand Ooh, i don't even know what I'm going to use that on, but adding Deathless for free to some species is big. But this is going to be a bit of a mess. Um, When a card bearing this sigil is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is defined as zero power, one health. Okay, so we can sacrifice this to get the Warren out. The Warren isn't quite as good as I was hoping it would be, but that's fine. And Alpha is is too expensive for me. The Warren gets destroyed. Gives me this. Gives me Rat King, which is useful. Now I'm going to take some damage here. I think, because there's not much I can do. At least for a moment. Rat King... Let me get the second squirrel. We're gonna put them both down. We're gonna sack them both for the Rat King. Kill this coyote, which gives me enough that I do a bunch of bonus damage. There we go. That balances it. I'm always really hesitant to use my items, to be honest. Mainly just because I never know when I'm gonna need them, and if I squander them when I needed them, then I'm in a bad spot. And I don't like being there. Fawn or a wolf cub? I'm gonna grab the missing now. I forget what it does. And that's probably fine. Okay. So what do we boost here? This is damage. Now I could get rid of something. But honestly, I think I'm gonna make the Warren stronger. Do we risk it for a biscuit? No. I should have considered it. I didn't see any poison creatures go by. Let me see. I have a sacrifice shrine up there, but I don't have a whole lot that I would sacrifice for yet. We might want to hit this just to see if I can get something interesting to make Deathless. I, I'm not sure if I like this starting deck. It's got some interesting potential, but its actual functionality is questionable at best. Um... I'm just going to put this down. Give me the Warren. Gets me a rabbit. Which lets me get a worker ant. Now, I could get the Rat King. And that's something to consider. But mostly, I think I'm going to hold on, on for a hot second. Get this down. Sack these two. Just kill the Sparrow. The worker ant balances the damage. We're kind of goodish. Let's draw another porcupine. Do we want to sacrifice the worker ant to get a porcupine down? Nah. I'll get a squirrel on the next round. There we go. No sense racing it. We're golden. And then we wait. Uh, oof, gosh. Well, I mean, I have that. So the alpha is going to go down, but it doesn't matter. And then we're here. What do we get? Honestly, it's maybe something worth two blood. Actually, that's decent. It's good damage in a way that I do not have um, any other creatures that can do that level of damage. Okay, and what can I make infinite? Bugs or wolves? Can I check? There's nothing that says what species. Oh, no, there it is. It's that image. So I have one wolf and nothing else. 
So, Deathless Wolves. Yeah, I mean, that's about as good as I'm going to be able to get for the time being. I could have gone for Deathless Bugs, which could actually also be very good. But until we actually find any any bugs to do it, uh, it's not a good idea. And I guess let's just go here. So now I don't have to worry about my alphas dying. We get a cuckoo. Eh, cuckoo's pretty good. Okay, and a couple of sparrows. So let's get the squirrel down and summon a cuckoo with an egg. That way I don't have to worry about that. It'll just sit there, prevent that sparrow from doing anything, and put me in a genuinely safe position. Next up, we're gonna put this here, and we're gonna we're gonna put down the bell monster there. It just does gobs of damage. I think it uh, does it win? No. It's fine, it doesn't need to. It just needs to win enough. And we're golden. This is why I turned the music off and was listening to my own stuff. I love the music for this game, but it is not common enough for me. Okay, so we want anything wolf related. Another alpha. I'll take it. I'll see if I can find some mycologists, maybe. Okay, so here's the question. Do we toss something to the wolves? Because I can give things damage. The problem is mycologist right now would be kind of nice. I don't know. I don't know how much I want to gamble. I don't. I don't feel like gambling at the moment. I was really hoping I could get a poison poisonous creature. Okay, and bonus HP on something. Ooh. Honestly, possibly porcupine. Okay, here's the gamble. Nope, they eat it. Damn it. That's fine. I'll take the extra bones. They're kind of useful anyway. I, I like the porcupine, but chances of me actually using it were kind of hit and miss. Oh, that's bad. I mean, I'll probably be able to maybe out damage them, but yeah, he's got aqua, uh, aquatic coyotes again, which historically has been nothing short of disastrous for me. Okay. We get a rabbit. We get a lot of other things. Okay, so the problem is Aqua Coyote puts me in a bad spot. As there's not much I can do, and I can't kill it. I could get the Alpha down, and boost the Warren, and a Rabbit, but at max I'd be able to do four damage. And then it would soak a hit. We'll get it on the next round. I'll see what else I can draw. Okay, give me this. Gets me the other Warren, which does do more damage than a rabbit. Okay, so we're gonna get this Warren down. Gets me another rabbit, which is the most helpful. And then we're gonna do a bunch of damage to that. Problem is we're gonna lose our alpha for this, but that's fine, they're deathless. The only immediate problem is they cost a boatload of bones. Um. And we also have the Rat King, which is interesting. Here, let's grab this. We need a pile. That should be enough. Let's put another rabbit down. Get the Rat King, because we're going to need the bones. Hit this. We got to do some damage. Okay. So he kills those, we get golden nuggets. Here's the thing, I can weaponize them. Draw that, we get a raven egg, which is pretty bad. Okay, so here's the problem. I am in a very bad space. And it's not going to get better. Uh, 
Um, okay. That's about as good as I think I'm going to be able to get it. Which means I do enough damage. We kill... We kill that, and then the two alphas are enough to kill the squirrel. Or, not the squirrel. Kill the prospector. Straight out. Whew. We had just enough bones for that. That could have gone bad. And yet, we lived. Aqua wolf is scary. And there's a number of other things that are also scary, but still. Uh, pack rat or child 13. So you got a couple of things that are kind of good here. Child 13 means infinite sacrifices, but I don't have much to sacrifice at the moment. Pack rat would be infinite items, but I can only hit, hold one item at a time, which puts me in kind of a weird spot. Um, I'm going to grab the child 13, even if it's not perfect for what I'm doing. I think I'd want to specifically apply it to my, um, I think I want to apply it specifically to my alphas. River otter, beaver, and rattler. Cockroach, beehive, and a moose buck. I'm going to grab the cockroach, actually. I have ideas for that. So we can remove a card. We have a totem. We could go here, grab one singular item. I'm gonna go here. So, I'm thinking of applying Cockroach to the Warren. The other, oh, let's do Cockroach and Rat King to the Warren. Assuming we get another Sacrifice Shrine, and then stitch them together. Stitching the two Alphas together would be nice, but not quite as useful. Whereas a Deathless Warren that can get me infinite bones through... There we go. Gets me a Rabbit. Oh, the only immediate problem is I can't kill it. I mean, I kind of can. Okay. But I can't summon it down, but we can we can get him with a ring of ding ding. It's a good way of getting stuff out. I just gotta pull it off a little harder, a little faster. Grab this squirrel Warren. Down. Gets me a rabbit. I probably should have held on to the rabbit. Whatever. There we go. It doesn't really matter. I could have done that better, but eh. Okay, I'm not seeing any mycologists yet. Kingfisher, worker, ant. Nah, I don't care for any of these. River otter, ant queen, or bull. I am just not big on these. I guess I'll grab the river otter. Oh, good, mycologist. I just have to not die for a brief bit. Oh, right. Card bearing the sigil is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. This would be interesting. I guess I could have also gone for Stink Wolf, but Infinite Alpha seems like the better idea. Oh, that's, that's how I get him back. Okay. And... I... Okay, let's just tackle this one last one. Then I'll have to finish finish this up in a bit. Recording around the holidays is funky. Okay, this actually, this doesn't look too bad. Okay, get the Warren down. Then sacrifice the Warren to get a second Warren. To put a rabbit down to get another Warren down. To put this rabbit down to get the River Otter down. Alright, three damage right from the start. And they're all flying, so we can't block that damage anyway. But it's okay, because we'll just kill them. And what do we get? 
we do get the alpha. I just have no way of stopping them. It's fine. And we do one damage. There's a bullfrog. Who cares? There's the mantis. All right, here we go. Pop both of these. Toss that down. And then I should be able to get the deathless alpha, which is perfect. I am worried about these totem fights, but they have yet to actually be a problem for me. All right, let's go here. Mm, like, porcupine could be good. But let's grab a second rat king. But mainly... We want to stitch some things together. I'm going to stitch the Warrens together. I don't know if it gets me, gets me two bunnies. Because I could put the Alphas together and they get better. But no, let's, let's go for a bigger Warren. That is deathless. Hopefully we can apply a little bit more. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh... Because we do have the dupe, so maybe we don't get rid of the Rat King. Maybe we go for a double Rat King. Ah, no, 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 no. We'll go up here, but we'll do that after. All right, do or die, let's finish this run. Matrix was good, surprisingly. I don't know if I mentioned that that's what I was going off to go do, but I went off to go play some Matrix. All right, so we got a bunch of Kingfishers and a Coyote. We do have our 2-4 our Warren. I'm going to just get the Deathless Warren down. And the rabbit. Oh, you know what would make the Deathless Warren incredible? If I stitched onto the... I, if I stitched the... Uh, the ant den onto it. That would do some serious work. Right, let's draw this. We get the Rat King. Sack both of them. Get the Rat King down. Still can't get the Alpha down. But I think I'll be fine. At least for this run. That's a lot of aquatic critters. Um, I'm going to need a squirrel. Otherwise, I can't get the warren down. Actually, I need the squirrel and the rabbit for something else. There we go. Because we need to do some damage. Otherwise, we're in trouble here. We do more damage than they do. Give me this. We get a river otter, which I'm going to sack the squirrel for. Balance it out. All right, we're good. This is kind of a wonky fight. <laughs> but it's working. Kind of. Uh, let's see. Do we sacrifice... The Warren and the Rabbit to get the Rat King down. Then we sacrifice the River Otter to get the Warren down. And then we put down the other Alpha. There we go. I can do this. I know what I'm I know what I'm doing. Alright, what do we get? Oh, and do we stitch a bunch of things together? Because I could stitch the two alphas together. I'm Maybe up for that? Go for this one. I don't think I have anything of the same breed. Okay, trial was passed. What do we get? Pronghorn, skunk, or a kingfisher? Kingfisher with an item is good. Prong Stinky pronghorn, also decent. Because the stinky pronghorn can do a lot of damage. The kingfisher gives items. What do I need? I'm wholly unsure, to be honest. Because the Kingfisher gives good items, but he is not a good damage dealer. I'm going to grab the Stinky Pronghorn, because one campfire makes it actually viable. And here's the other question. What do we do? We could sacrifice... <sighs> so here's the question. Can you sacrifice onto a creature that's already been stitched? 
Because if that's the case, I might want to stitch like a Rat King onto the Warren for infinite bones. Otherwise, I could stitch the two Rat Kings together, or I could stitch... Oh, but we know, the, we know their effect does not stack, so we don't actually want that. Okay, so we want to stitch Rat King onto... Oh. I cannot... So... Bit of a downside. I cannot stitch a card onto a card that has been my mycologisted. I honestly kind of wish you could. You know, it just gives it two slots because it's two cards in there. Alas. That's fine. Okay, let's just put these in. This way they'll roughly pay for themselves. Obviously, I still have to get them down. But then once I have them down, they're effectively infinite. And I can just throw them out as much as I want. Would have been nice to be able to stitch onto the uh, oh, shove birds. Honestly, shove birds are not, not a big deal. And we start with the smoke, which is kind of big. I hate my neighbors. Okay, so let's take a look. So we have a kingfisher. It's a pushy kingfisher, not something I need to worry about too much. Let's get the child 13 down. And since kingfishers don't attack my dudes, I don't need to worry about it too much. Um... Get the warren down. Sacrifice these two. Put the ring-a-ding down. Child 13 down. And we're good. The only immediate problem is we're going to end up with sharks. For doing this. Which was maybe a bit of a mistake. I might have to redo this one. Because that's a lot of damage. Okay, let's grab this. We get the prong stinky pronghorn. Okay. And we actually put it down. I mean, I have to. I don't get a choice. I'm just going to put it here. Oh, it moves, doesn't it? <sighs> I'm just going to put it there. I think, I think I'm okay. Because it doesn't go underwater immediately, so I kill it. Perfect. And we get a Rat King. Um... Put the rabbit down. Get rid of the stinky pronghorn. There should be enough damage, and we just kill him. Okay, there we go. Almost made a mistake there. It turns turned out to be a, a fortuitous set of choices. Alright, so what do we get? Long Elk, Gek, or a Mantis God. I'm going to grab the Gek. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with the Gek yet, but I'm going to grab the Gek. Mantis God might have been the right choice. We will see. Okay, so we've reached the snow line. I see another Mycologist, but I don't think I have anything to stitch. But we do have a second Pronghorn. Grab the second Pronghorn. Hoping to find another campfire, but it's okay. Let's go here. So what do we stitch? Because we could do an underwater stinky pronghorn. Get rid of the river otter because it's not that useful. And put it on the pronghorn. And then if I can find a campfire, that makes it a lot better. It's not exactly primo strats here, but I did not want the river otter. Okay, and this looks like it's going to be a bit a bit dicey. I 
I guess we'll just wait for the next round. I might just lose this one. This is a very bad draw. Uh, I'm gonna... It kind of works. Put the Rat King down. It'll clear that, but I think we lose. Do they hit me? Yes. I think we do just insta lose. Damn. And nothing to do about it. Maybe there was something I could have done. I, I don't know. Like I said, sometimes just RNG decides, no, you're going to draw nothing but two cost cards, and boy, you're not going to be able to get them down. So I could buy a wolf pelt. Yeah, let's just get it. Do I, do I even have any, well, yes, yeah, I do. I was like, do I have any mycologists? I forgot for a second, but of course I do. Okay, so stinky underwater pr pronghorn. And yeah, if I can buff its damage like one more time, it actually gets pretty good. So what else do we have? that I could mess with. Because I'd probably want to get rid of Child 13, put it on the Gek. I got a, maybe a couple too many two costs. Well, I have to do this fight anyway. We'll make decisions after I lose. <laughs> hey, who knows? Maybe I'll be fine. Just too many expensive things. So I see an Alpha. The Alpha itself is not a big deal. Oh. And I gotta put Child 13 there, otherwise it dies. Okay, this hurts a bunch. So we need another squirrel. Puts that down. Okay, Stinky Pronghorn kills the Alpha. Okay, haven't lost yet. That's fine. We get a Wolf Pelt, which is not great. Thank you, Child 13. Take two damage. Come on, give me something great. I think I lose. I'm gonna try that again. I don't know what I could have done. Except for maybe drawing another, uh, some squirrels or something. Oh. A bunch of null reference exceptions. I'm gonna try... Because <sighs> I've got great cards, I just... Oh. Oh, oh, okay, this is different. Interesting that we're not locked in here, and what I should have done was actually sacrifice the child 13. I'm stuck, we'll just go with it. I probably should have just gotten the Gek down to do like one extra damage. I I'm not I'm not thinking enough here. Okay. Gek will just do a little bit of damage to that. That kills the Alpha right off the bat, which is kind of nice, but I think we lose again. Not quite. Okay, we get the Alpha, but it is... I, I can't play him, because I haven't gotten enough kills. Yeah, let's try that again. If I had gotten the Gek down, maybe we could have done a little bit more damage, but... A little cheesy that I can just reset RNG here until I get a good hand. I mean, but at the same time, what else am I going to do? Okay, so it's it's the same this time around. But this is fine. Okay, so we're going to put the squirrel down. We're going to sacrifice it to get child 13. 
we're going to piss off child 13 and we're going to just do Gek, which is a one turn, one hit combo. That's all we need. See? You just have to do it right and then you're all good. Mm. I don't have anything else to stitch together with the mycologist, which is unfortunate because the store... Oh, no, no. The store is still reachable. Bone, blood, health. I got some beefy creatures. If I can just get one of them. Nope. I don't know why I'd, I'd take the missing no card, to be honest. I shouldn't. Okay, so let's go to this. So the question is what... Oh. Give something some health. Probably just boost child 13. I forgot I hadn't killed these guys. And yeah, I could feed them one more time, but... Field mice. The rabbit pelts. Uh, let's see, what are we looking at? I can do nothing at the moment. Even with this, the stinky pronghorn isn't going to be able to net the kill. And we insta-lose. Look, I'm... If it's going to throw out a vulture, a card that requires eight bones, then... I'm going to use whatever tools I have at my disposal to potentially reset the RNG. Oh, I wonder if it only resets the RNG if I'm... If I've lost. That's an interesting question. Try for something else. We get Gek. Which is not actually better. Well, I'll just stinky pronghorn it up. Because, yeah, the mole is going to take the hits. And then I take four damage. Okay, so let's wait. And go back to the start screen. I think this resets the RNG. I could be wrong. No, it's the same thing. Damn. What happened previously then? I don't know. Well, looks like we run we lose this run one way or another. I'll just put it down. Alternative take. Cuz here's the thing, if I if I put the Bronghorn here to try and do four damage, the mole just blocks both, which is not helpful. And then I take five damage on my next turn, and then I lose because no candle. I don't know what I could have done there. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of choices that could have culminated in a victory on that round, but I do not know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try one more time because if his hands are here, because I know there's a way to reset the RNG somehow. Maybe, and if we draw the same stuff, whatever, we just end the run. Nope, it's the same RNG. Well, that's unfortunate is what it is what it is anyway with that uh it was a neat run it had a lot of potential but alas drawing the wrong cards at the wrong time just sinks you i like the alpha but it takes a long time to get rolling and had i been able to put maybe bones on the warren that could have worked but even then uh i didn't draw the warren anyway and i didn't even draw the alpha it was the pronghorn and some other stuff which like is nice but i i think so many of my problems with inscription come down to the fact that you only draw three cards in a squirrel at the beginning of every, of every fight. And I feel like, um, considering how hard some of the Act 3 fights are, it'd be kind of nice if you had a little bit more control than that. Uh, namely, just because, yeah, if you draw a dud hand, your pelts especially, like, that's just an insta-lose. And I get it, but it's not satisfying. So, with all that said, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.